hair is growing. Yes, it is. Oh, it start. You know what? People get mad. I have yet to break my hair back, but people get mad when you stand questioning Asia De Degree's family. They, in fact, get mad. They want to hush it down on every other board and blog when you stand there saying something, standing in question of, say, if somebody's family member possibly could have done what they did. Remember, we are, in fact, the public watching. So if you're watching something and say somebody goes missing, the public is asked to get involved. That's the point in position of putting stuff out in the media. The first place is for police to get involved. And then when they run out of leads, that's the other thing. When police run out of leads, the reason why they will hope they could find something on the Internet, even blogs, is for the public to even play their part in the mystery of finding out. As in scoping and piecing things together what could have possibly happened, right? So as everybody's questioning everybody else, I'm still standing here questioning the family, just like many in Shelby County or whatever Burke County is standing and questioning the mother and the father because there's more to even what I'm speaking on in the, in the reason of the questioning. That's common sense. So you tell the public to get involved on something and then they're not allowed to sit there and question. Seriously? What happened to common sense? That does not make sense at all. Because to be a member of society is to, in fact, play your part when you're asked to look and help find discover. That's that's crazy. People don't use common sense. You know what? People don't use common sense and logic until something like that plays out in their own neighborhood. And then they, in fact, want to question a neighbor of, say, the possible child, whatever could have happened. People wait until stuff hit close to their home to start questioning that sort of thing. Yes, they do. You can't tell me they don't. A lot of these people that don't want you to sit questioning Asia Degree's family despite the grieving over there that's going on, people wait until something like that happened in their hometown neighborhood before they even want to get anywhere and start questioning the parents. I'm sure people was thinking the same thing when Casey Anthony or whatever her name, that situation happened. And more possibly people was possibly in shock even with that. Because she ain't too bad looking, Casey Anthony or whatever her name. She ain't too bad looking, not only that, with the John Bonet Ramsey case. I'm sure people was even questioning that, but some of them possibly waited till later. The family could possibly have had something even to do with John Bonet Ramsey and not a stalker. Who knows, right? If you are a member of society, it's only right to question. Anytime FBI or whoever sheriff department throw out something and say, help us find a missing child. You don't look at the house last, you look at the house first. And then you look everywhere else. Because it's known that the high percentage of kidnappings and abductions a lot of times take place amongst the family, family members anyway. And yet, if you wouldn't know percentages, you just wouldn't know that family a lot of times have something to do with their own child's disappearance. Yes, they do. Which is why in the beginning, I questioned if that was Asia's biological father. And yes, in fact, it is. But at first, I was thinking, well, maybe that was a stepdad. And maybe somebody else who was her biological father could have, in fact, abducted her because they possibly wanted her. And then made it situation set up look like she died or that somebody else took her and killed her and possibly ran off with her and could be in another country who knows that's what i was thinking at first but who in their right mind is not going to question the home doesn't a child come from home and if they're walking away from home don't they still come from home that in itself a line as in it adds up i just threw it out there just for that even to add up the common sense factor, the logic and reasoning skills, as in possessing that, in which I do. I'm not going to look all outside looking for a kidnapper when I know that the girl could have possibly left, ran away from home, from something. To leave home and leave at that time at 4 a.m. is to know you're running away from something, but what? 
Because a child at nine years old is just not going to leave out in the night air by herself, knowing she can't see if there's no fog light or even lamp involved. So to question is just that. And whoever is mad, stay mad in that because even that is petty. Because if you want a child to come home, come home or go home or whatever, by ways as in a kidnapper, possibly being found, abductor, suspect or whoever, then you would in fact stand in question, even the family. Because see, even a lunatic could have done this little whatever game that is, but somebody close could have in fact. So you're going to in fact look at what could have possibly went down with even disagreement in the form of the fashion of in relation to family members. Could there have been a, a disagreement? Was there a ransom there that maybe they didn't speak on? What could have happened? And not only that, on top of that, why was no sympathy and remorse even shown as well as seen in Asia's mother and father's interview in relation to mass media? Why is that? I am so in question of that itself, and I can't be the only one to question if you got access to mass media and you take it there, even going in Jet Magazine, despite you saying black children, black missing children, a lot of times their faces are not depicted by mass media, which is why a parent would even go to a Jet Magazine because it's, it's ran by black people. But for you to say that, why is a mother and father not even questioning their child's whereabouts? That spoke out to me the most. See, I myself, yes, me sitting here has to be responsible as in playing my position in relation to society of questioning why would even the mother and father have a child say a child is missing and she's let police know, but nowhere is it found and discovered in her interviews of her questioning why would an abductor do this to me? What did my family deserve for such a thing to happen to me? Is it something that I have, I could have did wrong to make a kidnapper want to take my child? And if it wasn't kidnapping and say Asia supposedly ran away on her own, that's still kidnapping in itself because remember a child still hasn't came back home. She wasn't above age, so that's still kidnapping. And yet a mother who cares as much as she says she does would in fact get in the press that would be the very first question she would in fact state right there in front of everybody saying, you know what? I can't believe this has happened to me and my family. We are in deep grieving. We don't understand and know why someone would do this to us because we have never really did anything wrong despite us being imperfect people. We haven't did anything wrong for somebody to want to do this to us. So we don't know why this is happening. And we would love for our child to come home. She stated, send my child home. She did state in the manner of just bring her back, bring her back. But that was it. Anybody can say that. Even a killer can say that. But somebody that is really wanting to know if they ain't had nothing to do with it, they really want to know and they're a parent wanting to know what happened to their child. They would, in fact, get on any platform which is related to mass media that spans all over the globe and say, you know what, to the kidnapper if they need to say it indirectly. That way that the kidnapper don't run off or kill or kill the child or whatever, say it indirectly in the form of a matter of who would want to do this to my child? Who would want to take my child? Who would want to take my child away from our family? That's how real grieving mothers and fathers handle that type of situation. And nowhere has it been seen as in meeting my eyes, the example of which I stand right here, the proper way that you do something pertaining to mass media, because I know how that, in fact, yes, I do know how it operates. Yes, I do. Marketing is just that. For a mother not to even say on TV or even jet, the conversation in Jet Magazine was about everything else. But not once was she sitting there saying, who would have done this? I, I can't believe, because see, to be a really grieving parent is to be grieving enough, even over the years. Just enough to say, you know what? When years pass, you start to question even more. Yes, you do. You, you start to think, why would somebody want to do this? Was I even in argument with somebody in my years back for them to even want to do this? Because this is almost like somewhat of a payback getting back to me if that sort of thing happened. 
If I'm the mother, could I have done something wrong to someone, even at church? Did I? Did some, one of us have an affair? She's not going to mention that on TV, but even a, a right standing mother or somebody would even think that in the back of her mind. Enough to still say it, even if one of them was having an affair, was there something that I could have done? Wrong. She did say she played over and over in her mind, but still that's not enough. Did she play over and over in her mind because she had missed something? Anytime a kidnapper take a child, you want to be a little bit specific, more so aiming direction at him and saying, you know, why would you want to do this? Whoever did this, why would you want to do that? You, want, you in fact, anytime somebody goes and they're kidnapped or abducted, because they could possibly be killed in the process. You, in fact, want to aim the conversation in any media to a kidnapper. Yes, you do. You want to aim the conversation and deep sorrow and deep grieving of, I can't believe somebody would do this to me. Because that's sorrow there. That's sorrow as well as sympathy. I can't believe somebody would do this to us. We are the type of family that don't do no wrong to to anybody out here in society. So why would somebody want to do that to me? Even church people say that type of thing when bad things happen. We try to live right by God's standards and not harming and hurting other people. So I can't see why somebody would want to do this to me and my husband and my son and the rest of the family, extended family. Why? That would be the first question the mother would ask is why? Why, dear God, why? She would possibly be crying and shaking and even that. Why, dear God, why? And somebody will more than likely have to comfort her because she's so distraught. Why? Why, God, why? That would, in fact, meet the public's eyes. Just to, in fact, help even them get involved. They would want to get involved. This mother is grieving and asking why, why, God, why? Why here I'm sitting in Jet Magazine's offices or wherever they did the interview, doing the interview as the mother, why God, why would someone do such a thing to us? That mother didn't do any of that. The first thing that came out of her mouth should have been why in front of the public. There was like no, no really like sympathy. There was no remorse. All that kind of came later in the press, right? But I just was in disbelief how everything was discussed and pertaining to this child's disappearance. Everything else was discussed, but not one question being the first question of why. Why would an abductor do this to us? Not once did her parents, and I don't even know where her father is because he ain't. You see him in pictures, but you don't see him in interviews, which that's strange in itself. It's like the call out abuse or something. Something went wrong somewhere. See, to tie in the note by note is to just see that very thing as which it stands. Uh, even why is the father not even portraying himself there doing full-blown interviews and allowing the mother to speak despite the mother being the head of the household, but the father is more so. Because if I'm a man and I'm married, there's no way I'm going to allow somebody just to take my child if that happened, abduct her, and me just allow my wife to speak. I'm going to want to sit side by side and speak out and do much more interviews outside of, say, Montel Williams and Jet Magazine. Because, see, even in that will hold sympathy. I need my child to come home. I have not seen her in so many years, so I need to broadcast myself just enough to put it out there. I need to be seen. I am a father that needs my child to come home. home and not only that. I need to understand why would somebody do this? Even the father would ask that. Why would somebody take my child? Because the lay up at night, even him going to sleep late, is to be wide awake in the middle of the night asking yourself, could you have possibly did something wrong? For somebody to want to take your child, slip out and take your child away from you. That's the very first question a parent asks, even on the local news. Why? Why? Please, please just bring her home. Please just bring her home. Oh, why? Why would it? Why would any kidnapper? They might not be. That might not be the word, but they'll want to say that. Why would somebody take her? That would be the first word. That would, in fact, be the first question. That's what, in fact, make me so different from everybody else making these Asia degree videos. That's, in fact, what sets me apart. 
because I understand crime shows and all that other stuff. Matter of fact, investigation discovery ID as in the TV show, the link is provided below. Hello, Discovery Communications. Yes, so as well as Discovery Channel and the own network, that is in fact my family. But moving on, why wasn't that the, the first question? The mother was in 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 uh even Shelby Star talking. People was in question even near the home why this mother seemed a little bit more jolly in the fact of her child not being there. Despite her sobbing and showing whatever type of tears, that could have been fake. Don't take everything at face value, what I'm trying to say. Because even somebody like whatever would do such and such like that, even show up at a candlelight visual, despite that being their own child. But people was like, and question the public, why is the mother a little bit less sympathizing with her child being missing? And then not only that, she says she will search until the child is in a body bag. Why, you, why would you even say that? Because you know, even sometimes children are found 15, 16 years later. So it's like you're almost saying and speaking forth, well, if she's dead, then I'll just be searching until she's in the body bag. Why even speak that forth? Why not wait? I spoke that for, forth because we're almost going into 20 years. But the mother spoke that a little bit too soon. You speaking something way back, 2003, 2004, 2005. She's saying she will search and look until the girl's in the body bag. If you're a mother and you're hopeful, you're a prayer, praying type of individual who don't get lost in faith. You go to church, right? They already teach you. I'm sure the pastor would have reached out to the mother and say, you know what? There is, in fact, hope with this because we stand behind you. So to speak a little too soon is to almost say that the child could possibly be dead. Look at how the mother said it. I'm going to be searching until I find her and she's in the body bag or dead in the in the bag. That's what the mother said. It just seemed like all of it seemed like diversion, attention, diversion, deflection as in moving the attention off the family. But I'm thinking to myself, my video more than likely gonna shut off cause I ain't got enough uh, memory. I'm on the move myself in trying to get these videos done. So to do too many of them at once is to in fact, yes, we're not a member. That, that is so strange. You can't tell me that's not strange. For any parent to have their child go missing and yet no no real heavy grieving is in that. That's enough to make any parent distraught. Yes, it is. Because a mother's and father's position is to in fact question the kidnapper. That's where it started, didn't it? Outside of home it started, but it, it started somewhat in the hands of a kidnapper. Because remember... That might be not the name for it by law, but if a child gets in anybody's vehicle, supposedly, supposedly, and doesn't return, then more than likely she was being held and is being held by a kidnapper. And so you would, in fact, be a parent want to speak directly to that kidnapper in the camera. Yes, you would. Some of the people was like, why isn't, why isn't Asia's mother... A little bit more sad from the beginning not years later from the beginning like shouldn't she she shouldn't she be a little bit more sad than she is she's a little bit more no somebody was like that's weird like she's a little bit more jolly than normal for a child to go missing I'm, I'm thinking to myself I, I, I see To any of you watching this, anytime your child go missing, let me repeat it again. Your very first question should be asking, why would somebody want to do that? And not just saying, just bring her home, bring her home, send her home. That's not going to work. You need to, in fact, ask, why would somebody want to do this to me? Because anything could be underlying that is what I'm trying to say. 
So for a mother or father to not even do that is to say and spell out that something is wrong, as in completely wrong, as in off. Possible suspect, maybe. Let me look at something. Because wouldn't a mother and father want to know anyway? That's your child, right? Wouldn't you still want to know why somebody took your child? Because yes, you if they did took you, if they did kidnap your child, you could in fact think, well, maybe I was off base somewhere. Maybe I I didn't pay attention to something, right? And I didn't really key into whatever. But still, why would somebody do this? That would in fact make you question yourself as a parent, right? She did that a little bit when she said, I play over and over my mind. Was there something I could have missed? But you still question, why would a kidnapper do this? That's more important than anything because, see, that child could be going anywhere with a supposed kidnapper any time of day. And if you're really a parent that loved your child, you would, in fact, want to know why, as well as where, as well as the point in the position, more so the reason. And I just rewind on even that, as in I just repeated what I said. Yes, yeah, screaming, screaming, some mothers even scream. Yes, they do. And say, why would somebody want to take my baby? That's, that's very distraught, let me tell you. And I don't even have kids. That's distraught for somebody to take your child and you not even know the reason why. But then to not question it, it's to question that very individual, all three of them, mother, father, and brother, or why nobody even questioned why. In the public's eyes, enough for them to even see. Something wrong about that. When I said, or I said that factors in why they wouldn't mention Reason why parents possibly wouldn't question a kidnapper in the media, I said possibly because of abuse. They could have been abusing the little girl. They could have been uh, affiliated with drugs despite them going to church. Even drug people use. I had an uncle that was in fact a minister who had minister license and all that. Enough to preach and yet he was a full blown crackhead. Yes he was and didn't even look like it. He was very very handsome and suave. He is, in fact, extended family. So I said the three factors of why a parent wouldn't question the kidnapper in media, as in asking, why would you do this? A parent who wouldn't ask like that would be somebody that had possibly abused her, could have possibly been drug affiliated, such as them using drugs or being affiliated with that, or somebody that has something to do with it. That's just common sense. And don't get mad at me when I be questioning because it doesn't look right and not only that it makes black fat makes black folks look bad as if we can't take care of our own kids that's what that sort of thing looks like yes it does because if anybody's going to run away then that's to say more than likely abuse was involved is which is why it makes black folks look bad Yes, it does. Can't tell me it's not. So to be this brown shade and care enough to want to know what happened to a child, right? It's just for me to say whoever's mad. They can stay mad. Because even, even somebody that has something to do with it could put on a fake false front to you, even to police. Because what parent say would be guilty is going to stand there and then not show no type of sympathy or anything even in front of the FBI, right? A parent that has something to do with it will want to sob and everything else in front of police despite them not sobbing in front of media just so that they get so that they don't be arrested as in being pleading guilty and going to jail. So they will more likely do that to other people as in people that live around them on the outside of their house but more so not to the media because possibly the media will even pick that apart. Like, okay, something about this is not right, which is more likely why the family is unseen and untold. So for police to interview over 300 people and not come up with any conclusion, that's almost in itself the point close to home because even outside gives leads. 
Yes, it does. Something. And yet to not have nothing to go on is to look right at home or close around it. Just enough. Let me see. I thought that was just so strange. I'm like, out of all these other mothers, they be grieving and all this other stuff. But the ones that, you know, what's so weird to me, the mothers that be guilty, that have something to do with their children being kidnapped. A lot of them be the ones that show no, no sympathy, no, no sympathy, no remorse or nothing. They don't even cry on the camera as they're standing there, even in interviews. Because it points guilt. I'm thinking it would. Because if you don't care from the beginning, you're not more likely not going to care in the end, I'm thinking, right? But out of all these children, when I see them, the ones that I have seen and paid attention to up close, yes, through the TV screen. Many of the mothers, as well as the fathers, the ones that care, they're completely distraught. Please bring her home. I can't believe, oh my God, oh my God, somebody could do this. And they're possibly even shaken. I saw a mother do that where her teenager was killed by another teenager, but the girl went missing. They found her in the woods. But the other parents that I've witnessed on the TV that had something to do with their child's disappearance, they didn't show any type of emotion. And not only that, they conversated about everything else, which is why I'm in question of Asia's mom and her dad. That is so strange. I bet a lot of the unsolved mysteries that play out with many of these crimes, with these children going missing, I bet many of that, the abductions, has something to do with the home life. As in the family has something to do with it. When it goes undiscovered and undetected for so long. I'm thinking it does. Because to go missing that long is to say something had to be going on before. There's a starting point and an ending point. And yet to never meet a closing as in a closure is to possibly say what could have happened. It's just off the hook. You're supposed to grieve on TV. Because that, that in a sense, the emotion, that's marketing, that's to get people in to helping you find your child that's the point but to not grieve enough is to not even know she's there it's to know that she's still disappearing and people not going to pay attention to the fact that even that if you want to bring somebody home you have to show that i think that's all to be said about that so don't get mad when I question. Don't get mad when I sit and question because once again, out of all these other Asia degree videos, yes, they're done by white people. Yes, they are. I understand. I have sympathy for even in that I'm saying they took the time to want to care. We're even black folks. A lot of them don't because they're caught up in petty things. That's in fact what makes me different than majority of the black people. Yes, I can speak that out. And I ain't even bitter or even angry about that for the simple fact. Many black people, they don't play their part, even in society. Because if they did, they wouldn't sit watching Beyonce and Kanye West acting crazy. And who else? Jay-Z. And talking about who done spent what money in one car, they will be more invested in human life. That's why I'm standing here. That's what sets me apart. That's what makes me so completely different. Yes, it does. And I'm sure you even have scoped that out in all the videos I've made it and stated. No words you see in any type of brown face figure speaking on the very matters in which I am. I see more white faces doing presenting black faces. I see more white faces presenting black missing children than I do black people presenting black missing children. Sad and it's sick. Yes, it is. Because to not play your part is to show who you are. Yes, it is. Black people, I'm saying. They know. They know. And to not go to school, that could possibly be the reason as well. Put down the rap and pick up a book. That's all I got to say about that. I'm about to end this video.
makes absolutely no sense. People, people are always sit and blaming white people, especially black people. Sit, blame. that makes absolutely no sense. The majority of black people sit around blaming white people for this and this and that. Yet, majority of black people don't even want to learn. You tell them go to college, go to school, and learn something. They don't even want to hear that. They don't want to hear nothing unless it's got to do something with an N-I-G-G-A and some stupid petty material such as that. Which is why many is so behind in life. Can't blame other races for your own fault is what I'm trying to say. You don't sit anywhere blaming a race of people who are in fact trying to help you. Because even to put out in the mass media that somebody is whatever. Yes, even in searching and finding. White people took the time to do that because many of them even went to school for even that. The realm of broadcasting, mass media, even in marketing, the realm of that or even where it fit the sciences. Psychology plays a role in that. So, and me saying that, hope I hope I did not offend anyone because usually every time I open my mouth, yes, I do offend. They say those that speak the truth and keep it blunt, as in the truth, a lot of times offend other people. But remember this when I say something. Remember when I say, just remember me completely in the realm of what I just said. When somebody go missing in your neighborhood and a sex offender could possibly have done it or even a possible murder or child sex predator did it, remember what I said. Remember what I said in the beginning of the video. People don't say nothing until it happens to them close to home. And not only that, many predators, as well as child predators, as well as sex offenders and check out or child sex offenders, child molesters, many of them, even killers, in fact, sometimes live in the same environment as you as a neighborhood. And you don't even know they're there. That's the point of speaking up and saying something in the room of questioning and not really saying that I'm pointing fingers, calling the family out in guilt. That's not what I'm doing. I'm questioning. Remember Innocent till proven guilty. But to see something where it stands out is just to say. In the form of a question. That's all.